welcome all today I'm going to teach you how to apply an IPO from an from HDFC in net banking for that you first log on to HDFC port net banking portal enter your user ID On the left side, you will see one request option. Click on that, and you will see IPO application. It's on home page. On the request, you will see IPO application. Click on that, you will be redirected to IPO application portal. Click on continue. This is the home page for IPO application for HDFC and here it will list out which is the current IPO available so for today housing and urban development corporation limited IPO is available so you can just click on the apply button on the right hand side you will get a form like this where you can choose your IPO retailer that is retailer HNI go for the retail click ok and there will be for every IPO there will be some minimum lot size for this hardcore lot size is 200 so I'm entering the shares, number of shares are 200 and the price bidding price you can enter the price range span is uh, 56 to 60 so I'm going for my bid like uh, you, you have you can you have the option to give three bids I'm starting from 58 59 I'm going to apply for 200 shares. So for hardcore, it is uh, load size is um, should be the multiple of 200. Minimum load size is 200. So I'm going to apply for 200. You can see if my first bid is for 58 rupees, 200 shares. Second bid is for 59, and third one is for 60 rupees. That is the cutoff price. You can choose that cutoff price if you want then applicant name and pan card number will come here automatically and uh, next option is uh, you need to fill your date of birth just choose your date of birth then your father name you can enter here then whether it is NSDL or CDSL you can choose so in my case it is NSDL and your DP name for so my my DP is a uh, share card. So if you are using HDFC security, it will be HDFC or a Lager if it is Lager. And for every DP name, there will be a DP ID. For a share gun, it is IN3005513. If it is for HDFC, it will be different. And uh, if it is a Lager, that will be different. So if you don't know the DP ID, you just uh, check with your trader, they will provide you the DP ID and you will have a client ID beneficiary account number in your uh, trader with your trader for me my trading account is with sharecan and I got the GPID from sharecan and I have a account number that I'm entering here which I got from a uh, sharecan this account number you can see from your uh, trading portal also if you have any doubt just call them up they will be providing the account number the bank details will be uh, filled automatically and make sure that your account has sufficient balance in this case what I'm going to apply is for 11,600 rupees make sure that your account has 11,600 rupees so after filling all these details go for uh, click on proceed button before that I will just go through the once again choose the IPO retail IPO and the number of shares and your bid prices then applicant name and pan card number will come automatically and fill your date of birth and your father name and your D 
DP name means that the trader name and that you need DP ID for that trader and your account number with that trader and it is will fill automatically so I'm going to click proceed button and you will ask for a confirm button click on confirm now you can click on uh, lots of terms and conditions will come click on I agree then you will get a submit button since I have already applied for this IPO I will get uh, application for the client already exist so one thing you need to remember is that only once you can apply for an IPO if you want to apply it again you either you need to cancel and wait for the refund from HDFC then you can apply for next time like if you want to increase the quantity that's not possible you cannot modify your IP application either you need to cancel or you have to drop the plan so if you want to cancel uh, you can see the cancel option under order book so since my application is already submitted I won't get the submit button at all so instead of this page you will be getting a submit page click on submit your IP will be submitted once it is submitted you can see it under order book click on order book select which IP it was and select the date when you apply click on submit you will see the option this is your applied IPO and the status you can see executed so you cannot modify this IPO as it is already submitted you can see this IP also cannot be modified you can cancel your bid that's the only option if you want to modify you can cancel and reapply once the IP is allocated for you the amount will be deducted from your account and the IP will reflect in your trading account that's all if you like the video please like and share thank you